Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode I'm doing something a little different. I will be reviewing the Time Burner Watch 2.0 from Elementium Lighter, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said in today's review, I will be jumping into the review and test footage of the Time Burner Watch 2.0 that has just been released from Element Team Lighter. And I'm really excited about this watch because a few months ago I saw the Time Burner Watch first edition. So I reached out to Elementium, wanted to get some information about it because I saw it, I thought it was really cool, I wanted to get my hands on it. I, my mind started churning about all of the different survival aspects I could use if I had something else that could, just another tool I could use to light a fire. And they told me to hold off because they had this new design coming. And I was like, all right, I'll hold off. I'll wait. And as soon as I got this in, about a week ago, I decided to jump in the test footage. And with the USB port being right here, they did give you a nice rubber seal. That was very um, nice, in my opinion. I was like, I like the fact that it can keep it covered. Keep dirt, dust, a little bit of water out of there. So... With every USB rechargeable device, I wanted to go and give it a little whirl, see what it would charge under. And as typical, I found a very positive thing, whether I used my laptop, I jumped into an external battery source, plugged it into the wall, pretty much anywhere just with a USB rechargeable a micro USB port. As long as you have that cell phone charger style for like a Galaxy or anything that uses micro USB, you'll be good to go. I was very happy about that. Sometimes with devices... They won't uh, sync up with the computer. They, you know, there's there certain things that sometimes it won't work properly, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, there's this pamphlet it comes with in the packaging. I will drop all the tech specs down in the description box below. And this is the package it comes in. And I know you guys are looking. I'm like, oh, there's a second watch. <laughs> yes, there is, but we'll get to that second watch here in a minute. Now, without taking up too much time, let's jump straight to the test footage. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the test footage. Now, I, as a matter of full disclosure, there were a few things that didn't make it to video, um, make it to film, because I like to keep the videos a little shorter. I don't like to show you like a two hour video on a watch lighter. That's just ridiculous. No one's going to stick around for that. So there were a few messed ups due to the fact that it were burner coils. I am used to, I am now used to the arc lighter and I am used to a traditional flame. So with those being burner coils, I keep touching this thing, I like the watch. <laughs> with the burner coils being a little different, I wasn't as familiar with it. Now with lighting cigarettes and everything else, as you saw, it did light things pretty well. It did a pretty good job. One thing that I noticed that's very helpful to note is find something like paraffin wax, a candle, something you can use as a conduit to come in contact with the burner coil, make contact with it, and then light whatever you are meaning to light with it. For in this instance, 
in a survival situation, pretty much starting a fire. So you can boil water, cook food, something of that nature. Now, would I use this as a primary source of fire starting? Absolutely not. If it's all I had, believe me, I will be using it. But since it has to power a watch interface and the burner coils, it won't last as long if you have to use it in that situation as a primary source. So we'd use it as a secondary or last resort just to have an additional tool in your arsenal for starting a fire if you need to. I don't want to get it twisted. This is not something that is mind-blowingly revolutionary that is going to change survivalists everywhere, but it gives you a very convenient package to have a, a very reliable fire starting source as long as you have power to the watch. Now, having something like um, foldable, um, foldable solar panels, just like you would for like the Goal Zero kits, having a power pack that you can have to recharge everything to keep all your electronic devices going, whether it's a lantern, it's a flashlight batteries like um, 18650s, something like that, um, keep your radio working in a situation where you need to call for help, signal, anything like that, it's going to do a very good job. Now, one thing I found out from Elementium, I did reach out because I wanted to get some information before I kind of went buck wild on this thing. Due to the fact they're burner coils, it is windproof, and that is a very good thing. Windproof is very annoying when you're trying to start a fire. So you'll always have the coils lighting, and that won't be an interruption for you. However, this watch is not highly water resistant, so you can't get this like if it's a tsunami outside, if you drop this in water, there's a the potential it'll, it'll damage the watch. Think of it like a smartphone or a smart watch. If it is submerged in water or it is, you know, there enough water gets in there, it'll probably damage it. It's a little unfortunate due to the fact that they did such a good job making the plasmatic X lighter so water resistant. I feel that they that might be something they can improve upon. However, based off how it functions right now, I'm not mad about it. So. Price point. Let's talk about that for a minute. In my mind, personally, with my budget and how I view this thing as a watch, a convenient lighting source, a lighter in general, it's priced at about $34, $35 US. That's not bad to me. For some, you might, that's ridiculous. It's, if it's not, <laughs> if you can't submerge it in a sub <laughs> underwater and go diving with it, it's stupid. Yeah, well, let's be real. Any, any watch that's really good that can be a dive watch, go underwater to use for scuba diving. There's, the watches are pretty darn expensive. So the fact that you get a digital watch with a pretty cool cool factor and it's a lighter, 35 bucks, not that big of a deal. I don't see that as a bad thing. You can change the straps on this if you would like. They come with leather straps of the color of your choice. And if you wanted to make it a little more sporty, you could put some silicone or rubber straps on there to swap it out. Now, what is that other watch doing? Well, this is a limited gold edition, and for this being a first look on YouTube, the very first video review, and to also celebrate my impending 15,000 subscribers, in the next week or two, I will be giving away this watch and a few other awesome pieces of gear and kit for an EDC giveaway, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be really, really exciting. Well, now you guys know there's going to be a giveaway. Now, my final thoughts on the lighter, the watch itself. I like it. I got a, quite a few opinions from about a dozen different people that I am friends with around town, and they thought it was very neat, thought it was cool, thought it was a very cool factor. They liked the convenience. I even had a few military members who got to check it out and try it on their little smoke breaks. They're like, oh, wow, you could use a survival tool if you needed to. So their mind instantly went to ignition source, survival kit and I was thought that was pretty cool that my, I was the only one that went there with it uh, after we got to talk about it a little bit definitely not a primary source like I said definitely a secondary or a backup but it's convenient it's there and it's on you so if you need it it's there and use it so I found so far I've had this watch for about five or six days now I have used it quite a bit and the battery is still on its half battery. It's half fully, after I gave it a full charge overnight when I first got it, it's still, the battery is halfway charged still after five days. And I've been lighting it quite a bit, just lighting things on fire, letting people and friends use it, get an idea for it, gather opinions. So the battery life so far in the very beginning is doing very well. 
I would gather as you get comfortable with it, you've charged it up a few times, you will probably need to use it, charge it every three to six days. Think of it like a smartphone or a smart device. Just assume you're going to need to charge it because the batteries will start to wear down as they get recharged. But I hope you guys enjoyed this test and reviewing of the watch. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Get excited about the giveaway, guys. It's coming up in the next week or so. I'll have more details to come. But that does it for now. I'm out. <laughs>